Okay, let's try that again. My camera keeps jiggling. So today we are making my world famous barbecue meatballs. This is a really old recipe, as you can see by my recipe card, probably 50 years old, but this is an absolute favorite of my family's. And it's super simple. Now it does make a large amount. So this will make um, probably about 40 large meatballs, but you need that because we've, it, otherwise you're wasting evaporated milk. So we, we always make it and then we can freeze it if we need to. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the sauce. This is super, super simple because it has to put, um, simmer on the stove. So two cups of ketchup, and I know I have two cups in here, but you can measure out two cups, two cups of ketchup. at the end for me. Okay, we'll let that go like that. One cup of brown sugar, packed. So this is the topping to the meatballs, but we gotta get it simmering on the stove. Okay. So one cup of brown sugar. Should have filled all this up before I started two tablespoons of liquid smoke. Now this is the key to these really good recipes. So you, I got this at Walmart where your local grocery stores will have it and you don't make these meatballs without this liquid smoke. This is what makes them taste amazing. So two tablespoons. This is used in a lot of bar barbecue sauces. Um, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Powder. And if you would like, you can add half a cup of um, chopped onions. My family doesn't like the onions in these meatballs, so I'm going to leave those out. And then we're going to dissolve this over um, medium heat while we're getting the meatballs ready. So basically, you just need to dissolve that. And it, it will pop, so you need to be really careful. Okay, the meatball recipe. Really, really, really good. Three pounds of hamburger, unthawed, where you can make actually make meatballs out of it. One can of evaporated milk. If you watch my videos, you know I'm never usually 100% prepared. of oatmeal. So you know with breadcrumbs you use oatmeal in this one. So two cups. So I'm using a half cup so I need four of these. Okay, two eggs. And you can put this in a KitchenAid mixer too, but the KitchenAid makes a ton of noise when I'm making videos and people can't hear me, so I'm gonna hand mix this. Wash my hands. A half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. chopped onion to this too, that's optional. One teaspoon of salt, just a teaspoon. You can measure. And then chili powder, two teaspoons of chili powder. And I just bought more chili powder at Aldi's when I was there. Super cheap spices at Aldi's. Okay, we're gonna mix this all up. If you really feel like it, you can get your hands in this and like squish it all together. So 
So I use um, three pans when I make this, two 11 by 13s and then a smaller nine by nine is about what they come to. You wanna do the meatballs in golf ball size. You probably could cut this recipe in half, but you would end up wasting half of the can of evaporated milk. I have to um, stir this because it's bubbling back here. Turn that down to a simmer. Okay, so I've got the meatballs. Mixed up. Okay, so I'm going to do one pan to show you um, because it. Like I said, it takes three pans, and you probably don't want to watch me prepare three pans, so I'm going to show you um, in a smaller one how this works. So you can use a um, cookie scoop, which I'm going to show you how this is here. This makes it super easy to make meatballs. You want to use a cookie scoop, and that's about the size you need. So you can do that. I'm just going to show you how this works. Okay, so six meatballs in this pan. So I'm just, this is just for illustration. So you need to put all your meatballs in the pan. And then we take the dissolved sauce and we place it over the meatballs like this. So you're gonna put a little bit of sauce over every meatball. You're gonna bake this in the oven, then when you get this done, at 350 degrees for one hour. Check them at like 50 minutes. Um, occasionally they're done between that 50 and 55 minutes, but um, definitely they're done after an hour and they are the most amazing meatballs and these freeze really well so after you cook them you can put them in like a um, container that you like a plastic container um, freeze them and they're probably good for up to three or four months um, i make these a lot of times for my daughter um, that's in college and we'll drop them off with her because she absolutely loves these but so these are my barbecue meatballs and um, i'm going to show you the finished product when they come out of the oven so i'm not going to make you wait here for an hour and i hope you absolutely love them I'm also a new Amazon affiliate, and I'm going to link some of the stuff that I use, um, especially like my favorite cookie scoops uh, in my store. So I'd appreciate it if you um, take a peek at those and look at those too. And um, I kept this video under 10 minutes, actually eight minutes, and um, super simple, and I hope you love them. Send me pictures of what they taste like, if you can. You can't do that, but pictures of what they look like. Okay, so these are the meatballs before they go in the oven. So I ended up with a nine by 13 and two nine by nines, one circle. They're going in the oven. 